All right, y'all, I wanna share a scripture with you that is just so perfect for what we're talking about today. This is Jeremiah 17, seven. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. You know, I talked about this a minute ago, but here's the thing. We have a God that comes through for us. We have a God that is good. We serve a God that knows everything and can do anything. We have every reason in the world for complete confidence. See, if we trust only in ourselves, only in our abilities or lack of abilities, our talents or lack of talents, our knowledge or lack of knowledge, our resources or lack of resources, those things will fall through. Bad things will happen. We will come up short. We're not as talented as we think we are. We might. There's things we don't know. There's things we can't do. Money runs out. Time is finite. Opportunities we can't always control, and we certainly can't control other people. But our confidence shouldn't be in those things shouldn't be in money, shouldn't be in our titles, shouldn't even be in our relationships with others. Our confidence, our true source of confidence comes only from God. The fact that we have a God that knows us, that loves us, that is for us, that knows anything and can do anything. Y'all, we have every reason in the world to rest in that to know as we face each day that God has gone before us. He knows exactly what's gonna happen. He can handle anything. Anytime something happens in my life that feels like the rug has been pulled out from underneath me, and I have experienced that, I know you have too. The thing that I remind myself is while I am surprised and disappointed and discouraged and all the things, God is not. Have you ever thought about that? God is never surprised, never. He's never in heaven wringing his hands going, oh, I didn't think about this. I didn't plan for this. I didn't see that coming. I, didn't, I don't know what to do about that. I didn't, I didn't have a plan. I wasn't prepared. I, I was busy over here. I didn't, I didn't know about that. What confidence we have to know that no matter what happens, God is in control. God has got this. God has got you and he's got me. You know, I heard an interesting uh, sermon a couple years ago at church, and I remember the, the man speaking on stage was telling this story. He was a retired NFL player, and he was talking about his early days as a believer becoming a Christian. And there was this one particular player on the team at the time that he was— um, a teammate with that was a really strong Christian. And he said he just really looked up to this guy and like, you know, kind of he kind of mentored him and so on. Well, there was one day where this guy, that's the, the mentor, the strong believer on the team, he gets taken out in the game, like just gets pummeled. They have to bring him back to the locker room on a stretcher. All the medical professionals are around him. And he finds out in that moment that he'll never play football again. Well, this man on stage telling the story, the teammate that was a new believer, went into the locker room after the the doctors left and he said, man, how, how are you? Are you okay? And that player, that was a strong believer, that player that had just been taken out and would never play football again, said, man, I'm excited. And this man said, how are you excited? I don't understand. He said, I'm excited because I know that as a believer, nothing happens in my life that has not been filtered through God's hands first. I know that my father knows. And if this is what's going on, it's because he has something else for me. That is confidence not just knowing who you are, not just believing in yourself, but knowing whose you are and believing in the God that is for you, the God that knows everything and can do anything, the God that has gone before you, that can handle anything that comes your way. I love this verse that is a reminder of that. I love the words here that remind us, blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, not trusts in circumstances, not trusts in our money or abilities or situations or titles, Trust in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. I wanna give you some questions to think about and journal and pray about. The first question I wanna ask you is to just consider where you've been being scared. Where have you been playing small, shrinking back, playing it safe? Where have you been living in fear? Write down your answer. Number two, I want you to write down this. Why should you trust in God? 
Write down all the ways that God has come through for you in the past. Write down all the many ways that He's provided for you, that He's protected you, that He's been faithful to you. Write down all the reasons you have to have confidence in Him. Write those down. And lastly, I wanna ask you practically, what is one thing you can do today to surprise yourself? What's one thing you can do today to just build your confidence, to step out in faith, to step out with a, a bold willingness to try something? What's one thing you can do today to surprise yourself? Write down your answer. All right, I'd love to pray for us as we wrap up. God, thank you that you are our true source of confidence. We know that confidence comes from you. You know everything. You can do anything. You are in control. You are for us, and you are good. And we have the truth of your word to remind us of all the many reasons we have to have faith in you, to trust you, and let our confidence come from you. God, thank you. Thank you that you protect us. Thank you that you remind us when we feel weak or insecure or scared. God, I pray that you would show up for us this week in a powerful way that would only strengthen our confidence in you and in what you have for us here in our life. In Jesus' name, amen.